This is where it all began. This campus was designed by Eliel Saarinen with his wife and artist Loya and his kids, Arrow and Pipson. They practiced a concept called total design, which means everything in this home and on this campus is highly considered, whether it's the colors on the wall, the chairs, the textiles, the masonry, the brickwork, everything relates to one another. Florence Schust, later Noel, was orphaned at 14, and when given a choice of schools, chose Cranbrook based on the beauty of the campus. Eliel took a special interest in her and effectively adopted her into the Saarinen family. There was sort of this golden age of Cranbrook where Arrow was here, Florence was back and forth, Ray and Charles Eames met here, Harry Bertoya was sort of this hotbed of uh, the beginnings of modernism. As a learning environment, Cranbrook fostered experimentation and design and with new materials. Arrow and Charles were kind of obsessed with figuring out how to bend plywood, but in a three-dimensional way. They loved entering competitions, both with each other a bit and uh, more formalized competitions that institutions like the MoMA were having. So they entered the organic design for home furnishings competition with a suite of furniture that included molded plywood chairs and tables, modular furniture, and they ended up winning. And then you look at that group of furniture and you very clearly see the seeds of ideas that have become some of the most successful lines or designs for both Noel and Herman Miller. We're entering into their more professional realm and that friendship continued on the Saarinens even named one of their sons Eames. Each had a different approach to design. In Saarinen's work, both architectural and furniture design, you see the sculptural approach. So with the pedestal tables and the chairs, that quite literally looks like a piece of sculpture. Or when you walk into the TWA terminal, it's like being inside of a piece of sculpture. Ray and Charles Eames, on the other hand, really took a more kit of parts approach. I mean, Charles has this very famous quote, it's all about the connections, the connections, the connections. And you look at really any of their furniture pieces and it is about how they come together and how you can do that over and over and over again. Nolan Herman Miller also took different approaches to planning. Being in this house and on this campus here at Cranbrook, it's very easy to see how Florence was inspired by this total design approach with everything being considered. And so with the Knoll planning unit that she spearheaded, she took this approach in the office that was equally as considered. So whether that was the colors, the art, the layouts of the furniture, even so far as going to designing some of the furniture herself, she took this approach that is literally imbued in the space. Herman Miller, on the other hand, ended up being more of a furniture-based approach to space planning. So now I feel like we have truly the yin and yang, the two geniuses of office planning and furniture design informing how we might create an office today. So where does that bring us? Literally, we're back at Cranbrook where our design journey began at the foundation of modernism. It's almost inevitable that these two companies have come together. It's also sort of a dream come true because we have all of these designers that truly are both the DNA of both of the companies, but also this tradition of risk-taking and truly shaping and guiding industry as a whole. I think we're in an amazing position to continue to do just that. <laughs>